did a vlog for the first time the other day and one of the things that I really needed to look at was the quality of the sound. Now, I don't know if you can hear it on here, you've probably got a vroom, 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 weird noise going on in the background. Didn't notice it before, but once I watched the vlog back, it started to drive me nuts. So, what follows is a series of tests, call it GoPro science if you will, to try and find the source of the sound. And I think I found it. Sound test. Uh, this is the frame. Got mesmerized there. Sound test. This is the frame. How does it sound? Is there a whoop, whoop, whoop going on or not? That's also with LEDs flashing, by the way. Sound test number two with the frame, but with LEDs turned off. Does that make any difference? Have we still got the whoop, whoop, whoop? Sound test number three, no frame. Whoop, 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 no frame. Sound test number four, this is with the blackout housing with the open back door. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, sound test five, just thought of another variable. This is with the frame, but no LEDs, but with the Connect app running and wireless open. Maybe. And the final combination that I can think of, LEDs, frame, wireless, Connect app, everything running at the same time. Hey, that's the point. What does this look like? <laughs> cool. Okay, no frame. I'm beginning to forget what I've done now. No frame with LEDs, with Wi Fi, with the Connect app up and running. Any different? No frame, no LEDs, with Wi Fi, with Connect. Finally, wireless off, LEDs back on, no frame. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So, it looks like it's the Wi Fi and the Connect app. So, this is the final test frame, LEDs, no Wi Fi, no Connect app. I really hope that's not the case because the Connect app is really useful for framing shots and stuff. But hey, if it improves the sound, there we go. So there you have it, a conclusion. It's the Wi-Fi and a well, combination of the Wi-Fi and the GoPro Connect app that was creating the distortion in the sound. That is a real shame because I find that app really useful for framing shots and getting things set up and just making everything, making sure that everything's right. Um, the remote control side of it is also excellent. So it's a real shame that that has an effect on the sound. But at least we've found the problem. GoPro, if you can find a way around that, really appreciate it. I probably could have Googled it, but hey, that's not quite the same, is it? So anyway, hope you found that useful.